My name is Jesse Miller and I create artwork simply because I have to. <laughs> it really, it's uh, the thing that keeps me going and um, it's the thing that brings me the most joy out of anything that I do. Jesse, in my opinion, is a master. He's a master artist. What he creates are masterful. He's a renaissance man. He's not just an artist. Art for me is a, uh, it's a healing, and it's a process that brings me love and joy. I'm really trying to get people to see things in a, in a different way, actually. There's uh, plenty of paintings and canvases out there that are framed perfectly already out there in the world, you know? So I feel like doing things a little different gets people's brain to sort of look at things in a different way and sort of maybe, maybe that's just the beginning of them looking at other things in a different way. A lot of his pieces are alive. There's stuff in there that you'll discover that Jesse didn't even know was in there. It's subliminal that comes out. And there's the intentional components. There's life embodied in so many of his pieces where you'll see a forest come alive with spirits protecting the forest and at, the, at the gateway to the ocean. A lot of what I see in Jesse's work is that of someone who has been able to explore those parts of their mind. Uh, has been able to tap into the parts of our brains that are accessible to us, but not every day, but they are accessible. Um, and it brings that, that medicine, that, that ma magic and uh, curiosity and playfulness and inquisitiveness into his work that people may see it, not fully understand it, but it makes their heart happy. Surfing for me is very uh, ceremonial, I suppose. It, it is, uh, you know, going down to Sano, it is my church. Desi grew up surfing San Onofre before he was born, in his mom's belly. Every day his family was there at the beach. Being just out on the water and uh, just being being immersed in nature is, is just the best medicine for anything and it's one of the main ways that I derive some of my inspiration and uh, feeling of stoke uh, from. Yeah, every, every time after being in the water, I've nev I never ever regret jumping in or going for a surf. It's even, even when the waves aren't good and the conditions are questionable, it, it's always better than it looks from the from the uh, from the shore. I, I feel inspired, really, and that's really what I do it for. It's just that feeling, the stoke, and uh, I mean, my perfect day is going for a surf and getting some food, and then going home and painting until two and three in the morning. That's sort of where I'm at my best, and that's where I I feel probably the most alive. Definitely surfing and uh, his growing up surfing were the primary influences in his youth and the surf artists that influenced him early on. You know, when you have a Jesse Miller piece, you're not just having some stagnant piece of art. There's all of these different components that when you look at it, it's, it's, al it's alive, it's living art. It's constantly evolving changing, discovering, so it's not a stagnant, linear piece. I know that Jesse would do art and create beauty even if nobody was around. That's what he does. That's Jesse's nature. Jesse's like a wave. And if you commune with it and you become part of that, you're going to have the ride of your life.